Hello, hello, and welcome back. Thank you for thrifting with me. We are at Yankee Town Women's Club Thrift. They've been closed for four months. They did get some flooding from the hurricane we had here in Florida, and today is a grand reopening, so I'm excited to be here. I haven't really explained to you guys why I, I, I haven't went thrifting in five months until the past few videos you've seen, and that was because I had too much stuff and I couldn't get it listed. So I want to say, make sure if you're doing all this thrifting, if it's not for personal use, get it listed or stop thrifting until you can. So I'm lucky enough to have a couple of girls that help me list and now I get to go thrifting again. So super excited, grand reopening. Let's go see what we can find. All right, so here my first go-to is typically the shed. You see the sign that says the shed because most of their collectibles and breakables are in there. So we're going to see if the shed is open or maybe it got flooded. I don't know. Let's see. Well, the door is locked. So perhaps the shed was flooded. We will see a little bit later. We'll ask them once we get inside, but let's go in here and see what we can find. And they are super busy. So we will open the door for this lovely lady, lovely ladies. Look at all this stuff moving out. And there's more at the counter there. They are selling all of the things, it looks like. So let's see what we see. This is super cute. And I thought about getting it for Dalton because I think that would be so cute to like hang up his artwork from school. But I left it there and I will give you a spoiler alert. Somebody bought it before I left. So my hesitation ended up in me not getting that. Now here, they have a lot of bears. These are Boyd's bears. Typically, most of them were overproduced and they are not worth picking up. There is a few or a handful that sometimes might be worth picking up, but I don't have a good signal here. So without being able to search, I'm going to leave those. Look, a puppy dog chewed on these Crocs and it kind of sucked because they were in good condition otherwise, but... A puppy dog ate them. These looked good, but they were $12. I feel like these are about $25 to $30 normally. So I wouldn't want to pay more than about $5 for these. And all of them actually look to be in decent condition. They're just priced a little bit higher than I would want for resale. That would be a great price if they were for personal use. Now, the Nike slides, I didn't see a price. They were actually in great condition, but with the pricing on the Crocs, oh, there was a price and I missed it. I just saw it, but I don't know what it was. So, I don't know. Now, I have sold a few cowboy hats in my days, and we're going to check. This one's a Justin Boots hat. That one also didn't have a price, but I don't think Justin's overly valuable. I know a lot of the Stetsons can be and some of the little hats like those can be as well but that one didn't have a name. And they've got lots and lots of stuff because they were closed for so long. There's some bucket hats. Let's see. This Disney hat I think was just somebody had made that. So that one we're going to leave as well. Now up here, what do we see? These are Keens and they are $8. These should sell for about $40, maybe $50. Excellent condition. So we are going to pick those up. Let's see what else is up here. Right now I'm looking at the shoes. I'm not really looking down too much. I'm looking more at the shoes. And then we'll see down here if we see anything sports bras can be good pickups as well if they are priced right that was an under armor that one i decided to leave though and these are all like athletic wear down here all right now we are going to look at the purses and this one's a pretty nice leather purse and i'm trying to see if i see a brand in here 
and that one is Boulder Ridge. And again, I cannot, I cannot look up comps. So I think I'm going to leave it. It's hard when you can't look things up, but it was a very, very nice leather purse. If that's there when I go back, I might pick that up. It was $10. So let me know what you think in the comments if I should have got that one. Look at this cute little glass seed bead pink flamingo purse. It's $6 and it's all glass seed beads. So this one I think I'm going to get. And there's another here on top. This one looks vintage. It has like a suede interior. This one's also six and has a really pretty floral bead. It has that original strap in there. So this one I think will go for 35, maybe 40 and it's in excellent condition. So we are gonna pick this little one up as well. And we'll see if we see any more here. And if I miss some, definitely let me know. I know a few things about purses, but not a ton. Now this Brighton is 10, but I wasn't sure because it was so plain. I, I've picked up floral Brightons before, but not solid ones. It looks like it's in decent condition, but I feel like 10 is just a little bit too high. They had tons, tons of leather. All the leather purses they had at $10. So this one's a fold over and I'm looking to see if there is a brand in here and it looks like there is. Let's see this one. I can't remember what it was and I couldn't read that that fast. So again, if you think these uh, leather purses are a good buy at $10. Let me know and I can check when I go back again. They have so many purses. Lots and lots and lots. Now here's another leather purse. And I bet it's going to be $10 too. Because that seems to be the price for the leather purses. Which again for personal use is an excellent, excellent price. But I didn't see a name on that one either. So we will... Put that one back and then we will continue on here we have some scarves nothing that really catches my eye in those scarves now here this is a little makeup bag floral purse it reminds me of makeup bag it's purse but we're gonna leave that now these shoes i believe are actually dansko's and they were six dollars i really thought about getting those but i did end up putting them back and the easy spirit i don't think there will be much room for profit on look at more purses look at all the purses look at this one how cute is this thing four dollars little embroidered eyes nice suede back i think we will definitely take this one for four dollars i see little key cats Oh, look at this. This one is a fanny pack and it's fisheye brand and it looks like it's brand new. Really, really nice. And I'm trying to see the price. It doesn't have a price. And I picked it up because I figured that one wouldn't be too bad. It seems like the purses in this little section here are a little bit less. And if you see shoes I miss, tell me because I'm not good with shoes. The Bagalini was a little bit more than I wanted to pay. It was a five. I would probably want that one at like three to four dollars. All right, we shall move on. Let's go somewhere else. Look at this. This is very, very nice. This one, let's see, is in Banana Republic new with tags for six dollars it is a merino wool one so we are going to get look at how nice it is we've definitely got to get that one let's see what else we see i always check the end caps because i find some good stuff on the end caps this one i thought of marcia i don't marcia if you're watching this i thought of you when i saw this this one's five marcia is red cardinal treasures if you do not know she is my main moderator and I thought of her when I saw that best. Look at this back room. So sometimes they might have like one table full. Today, all of the tables are full of stuff. And so I have a bag I'm gonna try and stuff. That is what I'm doing. I'm stuffing in the bag. All right, 
let's see. Camera back straight. Sorry if I made you dizzy there. Let's see. These little shoes are so cute. Little New Balances. I don't really resell kid stuff. Um, most of Dalton stuff that is too small, I will typically just donate. Most kid stuff isn't overly valuable. Now, these are cute little Airwalk slip-ons. They were just a few dollars, so I am going to grab those. I'm not sure if that was a mistake. Again, one thing to keep in mind in here is I cannot comp. So, uh, whatever I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing by what I think is knowledge in my head. So let's see if we see anything else. Now, these are coach shoes. They're suede. I do believe they're authentic, but I'm not really sure if I want to pick them up. I feel like that style might not be overly popular. And again, please correct me because this one is pretty close to my house. So if you see something I really, really should have gotten, then... Let me know and I can go check if it's still there. These are real legends water shoes. Not a lot of value in those either. Listen, this is like the mystery of the great missing slippers. I bought these for myself and now they were a dollar. I can only find one. I will tell you there is value in look, look slippers, probably 15 bucks. For a dollar, that's not bad. Now, these are not actual Crocs. If they had been, I probably would have picked those up. And now we've got more purses to look at. I think that's an Eddie and Anger. Let's see if we see anything. Oh, look. M&M's World in Las Vegas. We were just there at that store. The M&M's World in Las Vegas. And these bags are like 30 bucks there. So let's see. This one's five here. I think we could probably, I think we could probably do decent with this one and we can use it to stuff more stuff in while we're shopping. So it's a dual purpose bag. This one looked like a sack and it is a sack. Let's see how much they got on it though. They had $8, which was a little too much. If it had been four, that is one that I would have picked up. Let's see if we see anything else. There's a little Miami Dolphins hat. Polaris. They've got so, so much stuff today. Georgetown. Mickey. Always dig. You find the good things by digging. I had to make sure that, I think that was paint. I had to make sure it would come off. And it did come off, but that one was a little bit poor condition. Now, these are little hedgehogs. This one said $2. And it's different than these two. So this one has a D&D tag for $2. And the D&D little porcupine hedgehogs, whatever they are things, are actually worth like 15 to 20 each. So I think these two we will get because they are the Dandy brand. Now here is another thing I think a lot of people look over and that is little dog outfits and they can sell for 15 to 20. And again, there's something you can pick up for a dollar, $2 and they sell fast. There are some name brands that do better than others. So we will look through here and see what we see. And I do look and see what the name brands are. This one here looked like it was just a generic brand. So that one I left. We'll see if we see anything else here. Look at this little furry cute coat jacket. Coat jacket. I haven't been able to speak here lately. Let's see if we see anything else. There's a little puffer jacket. That one, I didn't see a tag though. So we're going to leave that one. I think I did end up finding a couple and I will show you on the haul everything I picked up. So make sure you stay till the end. And we'll see if we see any more purses. I don't see anything really catching my eye there. Now, blankets, some of them can sell, but keep in mind they take up a lot of room. 
And that's what I was thinking when I was looking at that flannel set. I think this was a diaper holder or a pot holder thing. I, I don't know. What is this thing? I, I'm, I think I'm going to get it, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Now, here's some napkins. Eight cross-stitch napkins for $2. That is a great, great price. Those should go for about 30 bucks. I do very well with vintage linen such as that one. And I think this was just like a pillow sham. So that one I did decide to leave. Now these racks you see here on the back wall are dollar racks. So we will come back and look at those because everything on those is only a dollar. And sometimes they have them outside when the weather's nice and warmer, but today they're inside. This little bourbon pillow is cute. It looks like I don't see a name. We're going to look. And brands matter when it comes to pillows. And that one was not a brand that I recognize. So we're going to put that back. And there is a sleeping bag over there on that far table. But same thing. They take up a lot of room. So when it's bigger things, I kind of... Think twice about that. This was a little vintage beach towel. That one, I'm going to decide to leave it. It looks a little bit faded. And these are some nice placemats here. I really like picking up the tapestry ones like you see here. So those I think we will get... The poinsettia ones, it says they have stains, so we're going to look and see if we see the stains here. Yeah, so th those stains were pretty bad. So we'll leave that and take the other ones with us. All right, now we will go over and look at the dollar rack. I found some really good stuff on the dollar racks at these. And like some name brands that I don't expect to see there. This dress is super, super cute. So we are going, look at the hula dancers for a dollar. I think we're going to get this one. I think some of this stuff wasn't in my haul. I recorded my haul a little bit ago. So some of it might be missing. It's probably still in my car somewhere. I'm watching this video and narrating for you and realizing that some stuff I picked up was not in my haul video. Now, whoa! Okay, we got to pick that up. <laughs> slippery shirts, slippery shirts. They slide right off the hook. Let's put it back. It seems like no matter how slow I do this, I end up knocking stuff off the hooks. There was a Nike shirt, but it was super faded. So we're going to leave that one there. And I don't see a ton of guy stuff, which is what I tend to sell a little bit more of. But I don't see any, or very, very few here on the dollar rack today. We'll see if we see anything else. That's a cute little top. Uh, the brand was Anna. I'm not familiar with that brand. And again, and you guys have taught me brands. So if you see a brand that you think I should have picked up or something, teach me, teach me. Because I would, I would love to learn. So some days I find a ton on here. Today I'm not, not finding a whole bunch, but that's okay. When it comes to dollar <laughs> racks, I am all about that dollar cost, so I do look a little bit more. Quite a few athletic pants here today, which is a little surprising. I don't see them on the dollar racks as often. So looks like a little bit of a strikeout, minus that really awesome dress 
on the dollar rack. So we're going to go back out into the main room and see maybe we can find something out there. All right, now we're in the t-shirts. These are the men's t-shirts. Look at this. I think this is a Johnny Cash shirt. Pretty cool. Three bucks. Don't take your guns to town. I think that's a pretty cool t-shirt. We will pick that up. Now here, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know, I love sports shirts. So if they're only a few dollars or less, I typically do pick those up as well. And that one was an older Super Bowl shirt. So we'll check that out. I didn't, I probably should look at jerseys a little more than I do, but I did not. I left the jersey there. And they've got a ton. You can see the little Mickey dad. I think that was one that somebody just maybe made with their cricket or something like that. He got a little wonky there for a minute. I do have my hands full while we are looking here. So we are delicately balancing the camera. Let's see. That one's got pretty cool graphics, but I'm not familiar with the name. Now this is a Vineyard Vines. Vineyard Vines brand sells very, very well super cool with the American flag there so that one we will pick up as well and see if we see anything else this Volkswagen shirt is super cool I don't I don't know why I didn't get that one I think that was a cool shirt let's see if we can find anything else so men's t-shirts is another thing I am willing to kind of look through because I do very well with them this is a guy Harvey and really good graphics on the back for three dollars i think that's a good pickup that's another one that'll be you know 20 25 dollars and from three i think that's a pretty good profit five times your money after fees so decent pickup there for me that's typically what i like to do is at least five times my money so for three dollars i would want fifteen dollars after the fees so it sells for 25 i'll be at about 15 to 17 dollars after the fees this brand i wasn't familiar with and so i think we'll put that one back i have not heard of that i think it was called hanging out or hanging out let's see if we see any more down here on the end Sometimes I have the patience to look through, sometimes I do not. Today, I do. This is a cool purple Izod, and this one's $3, so same thing. I do well with Izod button-ups and pick up most of them that I see as long as they are reasonably priced. That Wrangler... It's just like a plain beige, so I did decide to leave that one there. There's another eyes odd. But that one had a big pin mark. Not sure if you saw that there. There was a big pin mark on that shirt. Let's see if we see anything else in here. So I'm separating them like that so I can see the brands. <laughs> is what I'm doing if you're wondering why I'm pulling so far. I'm just looking at the brands to see if I see anything that I recognize. Well, let's see. Got to go to the end. Looky here. Another Vineyard Vines. This is a Vineyard Vines Texas. Really, really cool $3 pickup and another Vineyard Vines. So we found three Vineyard Vines. I'm just throwing everything on the floor so I think it's time we empty our hands here we're gonna go and do a drop off at the counter and empty our hands we need more hands all right now our hands are emptied and now we're on like the dress 
row. Dresses, I think there's some nightgowns here, some little cover-ups. Let's see what we see. Look at this thing. It's a granny square coat. And it says nanny did it. How friggin' cute is this? Five dollars. This thing is so, so cute. Oh, we found a cute... This could be either like a muumuu or a bathing suit cover-up. Really cute with the palm trees, flamingos, and pineapples. So we will grab that one as well. I do good with little bathing suit cover-up robe type things. And that one was only $3. Let's see what else we see here. This one was very, very vintage, and I probably should have got it, but I did I did leave it. I already had a ton of things. All right, we got to look at the bras. Look at the bras, guys. Look at this. Victoria's Secret pink little plaid bra for only 2 or $3, I think. So that's a good pickup. That one should sell for 15 to 20 and all these 15 to 20s really add up. And I know it's not a giant profit, but when it comes to clothes, they're so easy to photograph and ship. I'm okay with 10 and $15 profits on a minimal buy-in of just, uh, you know, one to $3. I'm, I'm good with that. I also do higher end, but typically that's not found in the thrift store. These were sticking out. I think they just put them up. These are brand new Columbia PFG shorts. And they're only $5, which is excellent for a pair of them. New with a tag. With a $50 price tag marked down to $35. So that was a great find. I'm glad I saw that tag sticking out. I don't think we see anything else here. All right. So... The ladies inside told us that the shed has moved to this other shed. And I think the wind blew the door open, so it's wide open for us to go in. Or not. There's a ghost. All right. <laughs> Let's go in the shed and see what we see. And this shed is bigger than the old shed, so there's more room in this shed. Don't see anything really there on that first shelf. There's a lot of stuff in here, though. Look at all of this stuff. So I'm happy that these ladies are back open and got everything repaired after Hurricane Idalia because I love to come here. I'm not sure if this was a Ray Dunn one or just like a generic. I didn't see a name on it, so I, I did decide to leave that one. Those are nice glass pots. I do not want to ship those glass pots, but those were really nice glass pots. Now here's a tile. That one doesn't have a name though. With the tiles uh, or tile trivets, I normally want to see a name because some of them do very, very well. But if they don't have a name, then I generally will leave them. Now up here, look at this. These vintage, these are Cornwall canisters. Look at that. With like the wood grain outside. They look like they're in pretty good condition as well. Let's see how much these are. I think they're $4 for the whole set. Yeah, look at this set of four. $4. Not too shabby. These are very, very retro. And I looked some up and it looks like they sell... Or they're listed at fifty to a hundred dollars. None have sold, but for four dollars, I'm I'm willing to take that chance and let them sit for a little bit. Let's see if we see anything else. I actually just sold a little doll similar to that one there in the back. These I feel like were overproduced, so even though it's pretty, I'm gonna put that back. I am trying to be a little bit picky. Now, what is this down here? These are absolutely amazing little vintage pottery nightlights. $2 each. 
I think these will sell for about $20 a piece and they are signed and there are three of them and I'm running out of hands again. So we, we, we have to go empty our bags again and then, and then we will come back. Yes, I am wearing rainbow Crocs. All right, we're going back to the shed. Now we have empty arms again. We can get more things. Let's go see what else we can get into. I thought about these drawers down here, but I didn't see a price on them because I use those to store my inventory a lot and they help to organize, but there's no price and I really just didn't feel like carrying them. So <laughs> we left those drawers there. Look at all of the linens. You guys know I love linens. Look at all of the linens. Here's a tapestry throw. This one is $4. And I don't normally open them, but I think I'm going to open them. I want to see what's on it. Let's look. And it's horses. So my mother-in-law loves horses. So I think this one we'll get for a Christmas present. And hopefully she doesn't watch my video. I know she does watch some, but hopefully she won't watch this one or she'll have a Christmas gift spoiler. Now, this is like a as seen on TV thermo spatula, but spatula. Okay, cat. <laughs> spatula. And I did look it up. That's what I'm doing on my phone there. And we'll see. I was listening to Vanilla Ice. Oh, and there's Courtney popping up. So I do check things out in the shed. I had a signal inside in the store. I did not. So we'll look and see if we can find it. And it's still spinning there in my hand. And I think actually my GoPro is about to die. So I'm going to finish looking through the shed, see what I can find. And then I'll come back and talk to you since my phone is dying. But they've got, look at this, $7 for a whole king set. Amazing prices at this thrift store and some really amazing amazing stuff and I think the camera is gonna die like right now so I'll be back in just a second all right so the GoPro died I was in there too long I was there an hour and a half so I got a few more things that you didn't see in the video and I'm gonna show you everything that I got right now don't forget if you want something just simply send me an email the nurse flipper at yahoo.com let me know what your offer is and your mailing address so i could give you a shipping quote let's let's take a look at what i got all right so the gopro died because i was there for too long so look at all of this stuff i was there for two hours of course the video isn't that long but i'm going to show you all of this cool stuff that i found and again this was their reopening and they had been closed for five months so i got this king duvet cover i forget the brand i did find it but i don't remember it um this is a really cute beaded flamingo purse this one was six and then all of these napkins little embroidered napkins were two I got the two placemats. Two placemats will sell because there are a lot of people with two in the household. I paid two for these. They should sell for 15 to 20. Look at this super cool purse. This one was only $4 and it's got really neat embroidery and like a suede back. And then these are air walks. They were $4. I think these will do well. And then I also got these Keens and the Keens were eight but they should sell for at least 40. I got the checkers with the mat. This I'm going to give to Dalton for Christmas. I got this little fish brand. It is a little fanny pack. Some vintage pillowcases. A nice look at this pattern guys. Super mid-century modern. These sell king size for only $250. Should sell at least $20. I got two different sets of fall placemats three placemats for three two for two so i'll leave those in those lots 
The king pillowcases are for me, look, a dollar. But if you go to the store, these things are like 25 bucks. And then Super Bowl Champions, Tampa Bay Bucks for $4. A Vineyard Vines, really, really good brand, sells fast. This XL for four. And also this XL, Vineyard Vines, Texas. I got an Izod. Really cool purple. This one is... What is it? Cash. Oh, I think it's like a cat Johnny Cash shirt. This one was three. These are one of my favorites. These are little vintage pottery nightlights. And it is real pottery. And the pottery is signed. So they were two each. I think those will go for about 20 or so. Look, set of four, four dollars for these vintage mid-century modern wood canisters. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell these or use them. I might use them. These are dandy porcupines. I'm going to have to wash these. They're dog toys, but they were only like a dollar and they should sell for about 15. Big garden flag for a dollar. This brand, these are all brand new. They were two dollars and I might see if my son and daughter-in-law want them for the baby. They're organic cotton. They were originally eight. I paid two. If not, what I'll do is lock them up together as one big lot and probably get I'll probably get 25 to 30 and then this really cute purse this one was six but look at that beadwork really really nice Vera Bradley this one was four this is a size large I think it's like a little comfy dress the horse throw blanket that one I might keep for my mother-in-law for Christmas. I got this guy Harvey 2XL for $3 with the fish. Another Vineyard Vines. Great finds on those. Eminem World Las Vegas. We were just there last month. Bag for five. Probably a $25 bag. Check out this Banana Republic. This one is brand new with the tags for $6. And what caught my eye was it is 100% merino wool super comfy size large new with the tags all of the accessories i love this color as well and then here this is a coral bay little bathing suit cover up with the flamingos and pineapples renee rafe another little nightgown cover up victoria's secret pink bra for two that should go for 15 to 20. these columbia shorts i can't remember i don't remember what i paid Oh, here's the tag. $5, guys, and they have a $35 and $50 price tag. So, not bad on those. And then, isn't this the cutest thing? Granny Squares. It is a cardigan. And it says, Nanny did it. Nanny did it. Nanny made this super, super cool and very, very well made. So, that is everything. And quite a bit, If again, if you're interested email me the nurse slipper at yahoo.com and send me your offer and we can see if we can work out a deal i appreciate you watching we are back home thrifting no more miami videos and i will see you on the next one bye guys